Well, now that we have a pretty good understanding of Newton's first law, let's talk about Newton's second law. Second law really says three things, and I've labeled them here. The first thing it says, I've labeled with a one, and you can see over here there is the second thing it says, labeled with a two, and then labeled with a three is the third thing that Newton's second law says. So let's take a look first of all at what the first of Newton's postulates are in the second law. A postulate is an idea. The first thing it says is that a force acting on a mass, that means an object, anything, in this case it happens to be this wagon, a force acting on a mass will cause the mass to accelerate in the direction of the force. Now that is pretty simple to understand. And that simply means that if you apply a force to an object, and remember a force is a vector, it has a direction as indicated by the arrow. If you apply this force to a mass, in this case the wagon, the 10 kilogram wagon, then whatever direction the force is acting, that is the direction of the acceleration. And you can see that both these arrows for the acceleration and also for the force are pointing in the same direction. If you want to know what direction the acceleration is, just look for the direction of the net force and that will tell you what direction the, the object is accelerating. Well, that's the first thing that it says. The mass, the cart in this case, will always accelerate in the direction of the net force. Force and acceleration always act in the same direction. That's important. Let's see what else this law says. This law also says that though both carts have the same mass, Cart B will have a greater acceleration than cart A because it has a greater force acting on it. In other words, the second law says that acceleration is proportional to force. And here you see that. Here we have a net force. It is a small force acting on this 10 kilogram cart. And it produces a small acceleration. And yet over here we have a larger force, a bigger force, represented by a larger force arrow, and it produces on the same 10 kilogram cart a much larger acceleration. Notice this is a bigger arrow. So we can say that the acceleration is proportional to the force, and that simplified means the bigger the force, the bigger the acceleration. The smaller the force, the smaller the acceleration. It's that easy nothing difficult about this second postulate of Newton's second law. It says that acceleration is proportional to force. Now let's take a look at the third postulate of Newton's second law. Here we can see that cart A and B both have the same force acting on them. See the forces are the same represented by arrows that are the same size and they're pointing in the same direction. Cart A will have a greater acceleration than cart B because it has less mass. So here we have cart A. The mass of cart A is 10 kilograms. Here we have cart B. The mass of cart B is 20 kilograms. If we apply the same force to each cart, Newton's second law tells us that cart B will have less acceleration than cart A because the mass of cart B is greater. Simplified we can say that the bigger the mass the less the acceleration if you keep the force constant. Acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass. That inverse proportion simply means that if the mass increases then the acceleration will decrease. They move in opposite directions. If the mass is increased, then the acceleration will decrease. The bigger the mass, the less acceleration. And that is the third postulate of Newton's second law. So Newton's second law shows the relationship between the force, the mass, and the acceleration.